Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Shine video. My name is Trevor Selescu, owner of Monster Hobbies Online, and you can check out our amazing model kits right over there. So today we are going to be looking at the 1932 Ford Model 18. Now the Model 18 is the one with the V8 engine in it. This is the Model 18 5 window coupe. Again, another really amazing model kit by AMT Ertl. And without further ado, uh, let's go down to the bench and see how I built this one. Rather than just updating the Model A, Ford launched a completely new vehicle for 1932. The 1932 Model 18 was the first low-priced car to offer a V8 engine. The big news for 1932 was the addition of the brand new Ford 60 horsepower flathead V8. Although there is a certain visual similarity with the predecessor Model A, the car was new. Other than the engine and the badging on the headlight, support bar, and hubcaps, it was virtually indistinguishable from the V8 Ford Model 18s of 1932. While the Model A has a simple frame with two straight longitudinal members, the new car got a longer wheelbase and an outward curve double drop chassis. The fuel tank was moved from its original location in the Model T's and Model A's behind the cowl to a new location in the lower rear of the car as is typical in modern vehicles. This required Ford to install an engine driven fuel pump, forever ending its gravity feed system. We hope you're enjoying this video so far, our nice little look at the model car collection. And if you're looking for a great channel which showcases model cars, also talks about new releases and has unboxing videos, as well as tip and tech videos, if that's right up your alley, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. So now let's carry on with our great model car expose. The engine in the 1932 Model 18 was the 221 cubic inch flathead engine with the three-speed sliding mesh manual transmission. The wheelbase of the real car is 106 inches, which is equal to four and a quarter inches in 125th scale. The price of the 1932 Ford Model 18 Coupe was $490, which is equal to you paying $9,732 in 2021 US dollars. All 1932 Fords came with black fenders, wire wheels, and a rear-mounted spare wheel. The spare wheel was mounted on the side if a tailgate or luggage rack was equipped. Of special note, on April 10th, 1934, notorious bank robber Clyde Barrow extolled the virtues of Ford's V8 as getaway cars. Dear Sir, while I still have breath in my lungs, I will tell you what a dandy car you make. I have driven Fords exclusively when I could get away with one. For sustained speed and freedom from trouble, the Ford has got every other car skinned and even if my business hasn't been strictly legal, it don't hurt anything to tell you what a fine car you got in the V8. Yours truly, Clyde Champion Barrow. This all caught up with them in 1934. The AMT 1932 Ford V8 Coupe came out in 1960 and you could build it factory stock or as a street rod. It shared the basic parts with the AMT Model B Roadster kit. It was re-released in 1966, 1975, 1985 under AMT Ertl, 1991, 2005 and as a special Boyd Coddington edition in 2005. No new reissues have been made since. Thank you for watching this video up to this point. It really means a lot to us. And if you're enjoying these great model cars, we want to offer you a special promo code where you can save a little bit off your next purchase at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Just enter the promo code YouTube so that we know that you watched this video on this channel and then got interested enough in our model cars to maybe pick up a few. So that promo code once again is YouTube over at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Here we have my build of the AMT 1932 Ford Coupe. 
And as you can see, I do believe I brush painted this with some nice testers. I may have even sprayed it through my airbrush. I did paint on the dark pinstripes with a brush. And this has the wire wheels. They are molded in plastic color. I did notice I missed a little spot down there with the black. Now, one interesting thing is the one side fender is actually dull right there. And I do believe that's because I painted these with gloss black. But right in there, there was some kind of issue. So I thinned down some black and painted over the top and it left it flat. There you can see the little step going into the rumble seat area. Now, unfortunately on these cars, the rumble seat does not open. It is molded in, but the hood does come off, which we'll see in a minute. Here we have the side view of our 32 Ford Coupe, and you can see that there is no steering column going down here. We do have a wonderful V8 engine. Unfortunately, I didn't paint these spark plugs. Now, we do have the air cleaner up here and the generator. And this time around, because I was older, I was able to solve the mystery of gluing in the upper radiator hoses to make them connect to the top of the radiator. Now, here we have the engine from the passenger side. And you'll notice that there's a lot of areas behind the radiator and on the fan that I need to touch up. These little squares in here are for the optional custom version of the kit. You can lower your radiator and mount them right onto the frame at these squares. The lower squares are, of course, for mounting the stock version of the radiator. Our V8 engine shows the crossover pipe underneath. Now note that it goes to the front of the engine and not toward the back like in modern cars. And that's a little bit different. You can see it sitting there right in front of the tie rod and very close to the front axle. Here we have the undercarriage of our 1932 Ford Model 18 Coupe. And you can see it is molded as a one piece. This is the same undercarriage as the 32 Ford Roadster. The differential and all the torque tube and radius rods are molded in place, as well as the muffler and tailpipe. There's a little connecting piece here, which is separate, as well as our wishbone and our transverse front axle and the pitman arm up here. The crossover pipe is actually molded to the engine and it will hook up here with the little cross pipe there. This chassis lacks the rear gas tank, which would cover over the clip of the fenders. Now I did find this dent right in the door. That's actually from using too much glue on the interior on the opposite side. It did melt in through and sucked in the door panel. Now, unfortunately, the coupe is a closed body model, so we can't really get too much on the interior of this. But you can see the wonderful seat and the steering wheel, which I painted with the testers brown paint. The back of our AMT 1932 Ford Coupe features an exposed tire here, which again looks really nice because you can see the extra wire wheels. And I did chrome plate over the 1932 Ford license plate, which I think I will change in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at my 1932 Ford Model 18 5 Window Coupe by AMT Ertl. Now, one thing I really would like to do in the future is build a museum that both showcases my model cars and my dad's model cars in all these really cool dioramas and adventures and that sort of thing, using figures and buildings and police cars and whatever else, all kinds of cool stuff. I want to span periods from like 1900 all the way up to the modern day, if I can, with different scenes like 50s diners, 30s gangster scenes, you know, all kinds of cool things. So if that sounds right up your alley for as little as $3 a month, you can click that join button down below and help us in that cause. I also have a Patreon page, which you can check out and do pretty much the same thing. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below. So until next time, everybody, Happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.